I'm Lady Aska and today I want to talk about how to add custom effects in Unity, like hearts or stars, so you can trigger these in BC Phase later. Last week we learned how to add and switch between new face textures to create certain effects like blush or tears. This time we want to take it a step further and add little extra effects to our expressions. For this example I want to add some hearts and some stars to enhance my expressions. But you can be really creative with that and trigger whatever fits your theme. These are just basic examples to teach you how to do it in general. First we have to create our effects. I used canvas effects for this tutorial and put them on my hair texture, but you can also draw them yourself or use other free to use resources. In Vroid Studio we use one of the categories of the hair, in my case I choose extra and here we add all our effects. I want to add two, but you can go with as many as you like. Just remember that they all have to be on the same hair, so you can export your model with all the effects on it, which we will turn off after in Unity and enable them to be triggered through blend shapes later. For this we create a flat hair mesh and add flat hair streaks where we want our effects to be. You may have to experiment a bit with the sizes and the edit points to get the look that you want. Also keep in mind that each of your hair material has to be unique, so you will create a new hair material for each of your effects and upload the texture there. Once that is all done, we export our model as usual and don't forget to deactivate the option Combine Hair Mesh under Reduced Materials. In Unity we will create a new 3D project and import our UniVM plugin the same way as we did in our other tutorials. If you want to know how to do it in detail, just watch the first video of the series, which I link it up there. After we imported the UniVM plugin, we will be able to drag our .vrm avatar in the bottom assets and can now access materials. Here we can also see all our effects, the hearts and the stars that I created. We can also drag our avatar from the main assets into the sample scene, so we have a better overview of what's going on. The first thing we have to do here now, same as last time, is to set the neutral state of our effects. For us, that will be that the heart and stars will be invisible at start and should then be triggered by certain blend shapes. After selecting one of our effects in the materials, we look in the inspector to the right. And here we can change the rendering type from cutout to transparent. This will give us a slight fade effect once we trigger it, while cutout would make the effect just pop into existence. You are of course free to choose what you would like your effect to do. Now we still have to make our effect invisible at the start and for that we look a bit lower in the inspector under color and set the alpha all the way down. You will see your effect disappear on the preview and on your avatar. We repeat that for the other effect and move on to the blend shapes. From now on everything should look pretty familiar again. You will select the option blend shapes under blend shapes and these familiar buttons on the right appear again. Because these are all blend shapes that you can trigger in VC phase or that are used for face tracking. Last time we created our own blend shape here, but this time we just want to add these effects to existing blend shapes. The process is nearly the same, just instead of clicking on creating blend shape clip, we click on one of the existing blend shapes already. I chose to enhance my fun and joy expression further and add the hearts and stars there. After we chose the expression, we go to the tab material list and select the hair material that belongs to our effect. You can check the name under materials again, since all hair will be named similar. In my case, the hearts were hair underscore zero three and stars were hair underscore zero four. Under that, we select underscore color from the dropdown menu. And now we want to make the hearts appear again. We push the alpha visibility up and set the color to white so our original color comes through. After we repeat that for the stars and my joy expression, we are now ready to export again. Under the menu option VRM0, we select export to VRM, select our avatar from the list and make sure the language is set to English and the version is like version 2 or version 3 and save our new .VRM. Time to go into VC phase to see if we did everything right. We load our new .vrm in and trigger the effects fun and joy together with the blush effect we created last time. 
And as you see, we already enhanced our expressions and what our avatar can do now with just the press of a button. You can of course be as creative as you can with these and have whatever pop up, creating new blend shapes as long as you can fit it on a hair texture. You could also change things about your hair, like removing a ponytail and reveal long hair for example. Just remember that you would have to create both in a way that they could be exported together. If you have further questions, feel free to join our Discord or comment in the comment section below. The link is, as always, down in the description. See you guys next Sunday. Hope you have a wonderful day.